Hey, welcome to my channel. Today we'll draw an entire cheesecake that'll actually be a piece of cake to draw if you follow all the steps. You can easily download the color palette and the brush set I'll use for free at the description below. If you are ready, let's get started. The canvas size is 2000 by 2500 pixels. Before we begin, let's go to the background layer and change its color into this light blue on top of the color palette. I will also go to brush library to select the monoline brush from calligraphy set. I'm gonna start drawing with this brown color on the existing layer. First, let's go with an ellipse. I will tap my finger on the canvas to make it perfect with the axis parallel to canvas edge. Adjust the size and drag the color to fill it. I will duplicate this layer and make one of them invisible for now. And on the upper layer, we will draw two vertical lines to define the height of our cake. While drawing the first line, I will tap my finger to make it strictly vertical. When I click on Edit, I can move the line to its best position. Don't forget to keep some space above the cake for decoration. After that, we should draw another line on the opposite side of the cake, same way as the first one. I can also move it if I click on Edit button. Finally, we need to connect these two lines with the horizontal one. Let me erase this small piece. Once it is done, I will fill the shape with the color. Let's duplicate the layer and clip to this one. I want to change the layer's color into this yellowish by dragging it inside the shape. Then go to Transformation and in the Snapping option I will turn Magnetics on. Moving the layer up carefully to make this chocolate color visible. This way we got two parallel shapes. I will duplicate the upper layer and it will be clipped straight away. This time I will change the color into a lighter one. Go to transformation again and move the layer up too. Now it's time to go back to the lowest layer and toggle its visibility. We will need one more of it later, so I will duplicate it once again. Let's drag one of them on top and unclip. With this arrow, I will move it up carefully this way. Looks like a perfect cylinder with a few layers. That's what we wanted to achieve. Let's repaint the top layer into this middle raspberry color. We got the base for our cake. And now I'm going to the lowest layer with an ellipse and I will duplicate it once again to get more shapes parallel to it. The lowest one will become a plate. To make it look like that, I will go to the color palette and paint it into this white color that is actually not pure white. It has a little shade of gray or blue. Anyway, I will drop the color in the shape, but we can see that it changed only after we scale it by clicking on the arrow icon first and then dragging this middle dot down in the uniform mode. I will duplicate this white layer 
and change its color into another shade of blue. Let's move the layer down carefully, having magnetics checked, and we will see that it is blue now. Before that, it was hidden under the white layer. I want to add some highlight to the plate side. To do that, I need to alpha lock the layer first. Then, select the white color from top of the plate by holding my finger here. And I will be using the soft brush from airbrushing for this purpose. Let me increase the size a little and draw on the side going towards the center with low pressure on the pencil. We still have one more ellipse to use. I will first repaint it into the blue color by dragging it to where the ellipse is supposed to be located. We will see it when we move it down a little with this arrow. And it would be nice if we go to Gaussian Blur and apply it on the layer around 4.5%. Time to start adding details and textures on the cake. Let's begin with the lower chocolate layer. I will create a layer above it that will be clipped because we already have clipped layers above. I will pick the yellowish color from the cake, go to brushes, find industrial set and there is a brush at the bottom that is called corrugated iron. I will select it. Set the size to 15% and opacity to highest. Let's add these vertical strokes going from one side to another and maybe back. When it's done, I will change the layers mode to luminosity. Let's add some texture on the next layer too. I will be drawing right on the layer, but before that we should alpha lock it by swiping two fingers to the right. I will pick the lightest color from the cake and this time I want to use another brush from the same set that is concrete block. I will set the opacity to 60% and add the texture slightly around the shape without lifting the pencil. I think that is enough. Let's switch to the upper layer. I will click on it and create a new layer above. Let's select the yellowish color and monoline brush for drawing. The size is at 8%. Let's draw a few oval shapes, mostly on the lower part, because on top it will be covered with this raspberry glaze dripping from the cake. The ovals should be vertical and better with the same angle. They can be round closer to the center of the cake and more oval on the sides of it, to give a better three-dimensional feeling. I will draw them of different size, adjust if needed, and fill them with the color. Draw as many as you wish, but we need only to give a hint of these air bubbles that we can see on cheese, for example, or another spongy texture. I will draw a few on this side, small one, ok, and the last one here. Let me adjust, fill it and I think it is enough. Let's go to the layer and lock it. Select the light base color and go to brushes for the soft brush. I will lower the size and draw inside each hole on the right side 
with the same angle as the ovals have. Looks even more like a sponge. Ok, let's change the color into pure white. To do that, I will go to color disk and double tap on this white area. Go to the base light layer and with a low brush size but with full opacity, I will add the outlines on the left side of each hole. This way will make them look even more realistic. The lines shouldn't be too thick. Try to draw them smooth and keep same thickness. Don't hurry. I will do it slowly too. We are almost done. Ok, and now I suggest we start working on the raspberry glaze. I will pick the color right from this top layer. And I will be drawing on it using monoline brush. If we go to settings, we can see that the streamline is at 100% because we will be drawing with a free hand without using quick shape tool. So I will start drawing the curves from the left going to the right. The first curve as well as the last one will be the smallest and the ones in the middle can be different. Try to keep your arm relaxed and maybe put it on the surface for the prop. Even if the lines turned out not 100% smooth, we can always fix it using the brush in combination with the eraser. It looks fine to me now. So I will just drop the color inside the shape to fill it. We need to add shading and highlights on this layer too, to add volume and dimension to it. So I will switch to a lower color from the palette and select the soft brush. Let's alpha lock the layer. The brush opacity is at 65% and size somewhere in the middle of the slider. I will draw on top of this shape. After that, go into color disk to pick the pure white color. I will lower the opacity a little and draw with this color in the center. When it's done, I will go back to the color palette and select the middle raspberry color, which is our base color as well. I will create a new layer on top of this one and clip it. Also go to change the blending mode to multiply. The brush I'm going to use is the monoline. I will draw the curves going up and down this way. The lines don't have to be perfect, because we will blur them eventually. But before that, we need to connect the edges so that we could feel the shape. As I said, we should go to Gaussian Blur, select layer mode and blur it to around 7.2%. Let's select the white color again and create a new layer. I will be using same brush. Adjust the size. Draw in these lines on the left side of each curvy shape that we have here. And I will also blow this layer 
to approximately same extent, that is 7.2 or 7.1%. Ok. On a new layer above this one, I will draw half of an ellipse going this way. Edit it just a little and then blur to around 7% as well. Let me go to the smudge tool set to soft brush and I will smudge the ends of this arc for better blending. On this side and on the opposite side as well. Great! If you are running out of layers, you can always merge the ones that you are sure you won't need to change. I have a ton of layers available, so I will just go ahead and duplicate the layer with our glaze. It is alpha locked since our previous actions, so I will just change its color into this brown using the fill layer tool. Let me also change the layers mode to pin light and set the opacity to 55%. Go into transform tool. I don't need magnetics here. I will just drag it to the side and a little down. I will clip both of these layers so that its shapes don't go outside the cake. We can start adding the decorations on top of the cake. Let's go to the color palette and pick this pink color. We can already merge these layers. And I will create a new layer on top. Go into the Sweet Party brush set to select the star pen brush which we can also use as a stamp. I will set the size to 80%. Then tap on the canvas. Go to transformation and rotate the star. I will alpha lock the layer to add some shading on it. First, I will grab this lower raspberry color, go to airbrushing and pick the soft brush. I will draw on the side and at the bottom of the star shape. Let's go to color disk to pick the pure white color and inking brush set for the studio pen brush. I will set the size to 12% and draw on the left side of the star this way. We have the layer locked so when we apply Gaussian blur on it the edges will stay sharp and only colors inside the shape will get blurred. Let's see how it works. Let it be 5%. I will also smudge this tip of our white line just a little. After that, I will duplicate the star, go to the lower layer and repaint it into this dark raspberry color by means of fill layer tool. Click on the arrow and I will tap on the canvas here to move it a little to the left and up. Then I will duplicate this one and move it in the same direction by tapping. Let's merge the layers and duplicate. Click on the arrow again and move this layer even more. This way we are creating a three-dimensional look. Same technique is used to create 3D text, by the way. Finally, I will merge these layers. Create a layer above and clip. I will pick the upper pink color, set the layers blending mode to screen, and go to pick the noise brush from touch-ups. We will highlight some areas on the sides. 
I will lower the brush size a little and start first on this side, then here, here at the bottom and on this side too. I think it looks fine. Now we can draw the stick. I will merge the layers and create a layer below. Let's pick the white color from the disk and select the monoline brush. The size is set to 30%. I will draw a line. Hold the pencil to make it straight. Let's go to the layer and lock it by swiping two fingers to the right. Open Adjustments tab, Hue Saturation Brightness and select the Pencil option. Let's lower the brightness to around 45% for now. I will go to Brushes and pick the soft brush. Set the opacity to maximum and draw on the right side of the stick. We can lower the brightness even more. Yes, that's fine. Let's also blur it a little. 2% is enough. I want to define the area where the stick goes inside the cake. So I will grab the base raspberry color, create a new layer below the stick, select the monoline brush and make a small circle. Then go to the layer and change the blending mode to multiply. I will make it a novel using transformation in freeform mode and place it this way. Let's select all layers related to this star candy and group them. I will swipe to the left to duplicate the group. Move it and rotate. Let's place it here. I will duplicate the group one more time and move it to the right. Rotate and find a good place for it. I think we can move this one a little closer to the center. Yes, looks better this way. I suggest we add some sprinkles on top of the cake. So I'm going to pick the white color and I will create a new layer on top. I think the dot pen from Sweet Party will fit here. The size of this brush is 11%. I will add the circles simply by tapping mostly on the lower area because we will have something in the center of the cake later. I have these 8 circles to which I want to add some shading. I don't want to shade them one by one, so I will be using a little trick. I will duplicate the layer and clip it to the current one. Then go to this arrow and tap 5 times in this direction to move the upper layer to the side. After that, I will go to the lower one to adjustments, hue saturation brightness. This time I will click on layer and lower the brightness. Let's see how it looks. I think 37% works best. I will go to the upper layer again and move it a little bit more. To blend the colors, I will apply Gaussian Blur on the layer 
around 2.5%. So this is one of the ways to shade white objects, especially if there are many of them and you don't want to shade them one by one. Finally, I will duplicate the lower layer, alpha lock it and repaint into the base raspberry color by clicking fill layer in the layer menu. Change the blending mode to multiply and move the layer in this direction to create a cast shadow from the sprinkles on the cake. Ok, the last detail that we're gonna draw as the main decoration is the cream dome in the center of the cake. Let's merge these two layers and create a new one on top. I will change the color into this light that comes first in the palette and pick the monoline brush. I will draw a curvy shape like this. On the left Then on the right And at the bottom it will have a few small curves One Two Three Filling it Let's go for shading I will create a new layer and clip it to the base. Change the color into middle one and the brush to soft brush. I will divide the shape into sections, drawing on the side this way. Go into eraser and set it to soft brush. Erase the side. Back to the brush, drawing on another section to shade it. Again erase on the side this way. So I alternate the brush and eraser, working on the entire shape. Changing the size of the brush according to the size of the section I am drawing at the moment. Let's not hurry to be more precise. It may look like one of the domes of St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow. So if you decide to draw that cathedral someday, you can totally apply same technique on it. I think our cream looks delicious already. I will paint the last section and when it's done, create a new layer that I will clip and set its blending mode to multiply. Let me increase the size and paint on the right side and on the lower part of the cream, this way shading it a little. I will create one more layer above and also clip it. Go to pick the white color from the color disk and I will highlight each section of the cream. The brush opacity is a little lower than 100% for better color blending. And I'm not applying much pressure on the pencil. Going up and down. Highlighting the last part. And that's it. Let's add the shadow under the cream on a new layer that I will create below the base shape. I will select the middle raspberry color. We have the soft brush selected and I think we can change the layers mode to multiply straight away. Let me lower the opacity and draw here. I want to soften the edges of the cream shape 
to make it look more realistic and add this creamy texture. Let's go to the base layer and I will go with the smudge tool, set a soft brush all over the edge. I think in this particular case it's better to do that manually rather than using Gaussian Blur. Ok, I'm finishing here. We are done. Let's work on the background now. I will create a layer below the plate. Go to the color palette and pick the blue color. I'm gonna use some textures from Sweet Party Set. Let's begin with foam texture. I will lower the opacity. The size is at maximum. Starting from the center of the canvas, going outwards, lowering the pressure. I don't want it to pop up too much. Just a little texture is enough. Under the plate I will be using the sugar brush. Also drawing slightly around the plate. I will create a new layer and select the white color. Let's check the star sprinkles. I will draw slightly so that the background doesn't drag attention from the cake. The background is done. Just a couple of small details before we finished. I want to add a few sprinkles on top of the cream as well. So I will create a new layer above it and select the middle raspberry color. Go into Sweet Party to pick the dot pen brush. The size is at 11%. Tapping a few times on the cream. Changing the color into white. Same brush but the size is lowered to 5%. I will tap inside the circles. Then go and alpha lock the layer. So when I go to Gaussian Blur and apply it on the layer, around 3.7%, we got only colors blended, but edges not blurred. Let's go to the layer and duplicate it. After that, I will fill the lower layer with this yellowish color using Fill Layer tool and set its blending mode to multiply. We are going to Arrow and tapping on the side to move the layer. The shadow appeared under the sprinkles. Here comes the final touch on the cake. I'm creating a layer between these two. And the blending mode should be set to linear burn. I'm gonna use the brown color together with a soft brush. Drawing on the right side of the cake and on its lower chocolate layer. The cake drawing seems to be ready. If you like the tutorial, please support my channel. All you need to do is subscribe and hit the bell icon to turn notifications on. Likes and comments are highly appreciated too. If you post your drawing on Instagram, tag me and I will share your work in my stories. See you in the next tutorial.